winter storm warning in effect for heavy snow. Those planning travel in the warned area should be prepared for hazardous conditions and plan accordingly. One of the great things about having an axe with you is uh, if you do fall, it's a great tool to help, help stop you. Uh, the the self-arrest position again is with your thumb underneath the edge and your hand over the top. Okay, so that's how one hand is. The other hand grabs the spike, down the shaft down low by the spike, okay? And then you put that axe right across your chest. You need to hold it really tight. If you hold it out here, it's easy to get pulled away. But if I'm holding it in tight, then it's really secure. The abs goes between my shoulder and my ear, and I'm just like this, okay? So now I need to get to my stomach, and I'll, again, I'll just show you that position. With this, I wanna drive my right shoulder into the snow and pull up on the other side, of the, the other end of the, the ax. So it looks like this. Everything is off the snow, okay? And at the same time, you're, you're driving the shoulder in and pulling up with the spike, you kick a couple of good buckets for your feet. Um, if it's too hard to kick buckets, you still want to be up on your toes. Now you can see my whole body is off the snow, so all the slippery Gore-Tex is off the snow. The only thing touching is the two points of my boots and the ice axe. Probably the most common way to fall is to slip and, and fall on your butt. If that happens, first thing you need to do is get control of the ice axe. So you need to grab it with the other hand and you're in this sitting position, okay? As you're sliding down the hill, I'm gonna roll towards the ax head. So I'm gonna roll this direction, get that ax in the snow as quick as I can. If I roll the other direction, it takes a lot longer for that ax to get in, and then the spike is, is getting in my way down here. So roll towards the ax head. So I'll start sliding, grab the ax, roll, and dig my feet in, okay? And pretty easy in these conditions, it's pretty soft, but um, when it gets hard, you need to do this as quickly as possible because the faster you pick up speed, the less chance you have of stopping, okay? So. All right, so what happens if you find yourself going face down on your stomach? The goal, the end goal is still the same. I need to get my feet downhill and get the ax in self-arrest position and get into that self-arrest position that I showed you earlier. So, um, and this snow is really soft, so I won't be moving very fast. How it works is the same thing. You gotta get control of the ax, so self-arrest grip. Now I need to turn myself around, so what I'm gonna do is take the, the ax, the pick, and jam it in the snow off to the side. That's gonna provide a pivot where my feet then swing around the hill. And again, this snow is pretty soft. It probably won't pivot very easily, but you have to kick your feet around if need to. Um, when it's hard and smoother and you're going faster, you won't need to, but in this case, I most likely will. So, here's what it looks like. So, end up in the exact same position with the spike pulling up, driving the pick of the ax into the snow, both feet, kicked in, everything else off the ground. All right, so the last position you may find yourself in is also the scariest, head first on your back. The goal is the same. I need to get spun around so my feet are below me and I'm on my stomach so I can dig the toes of my boots in as well as use the ax head to stop me. So, again, we're gonna use the pick of the ax to help us pivot around. So what I'm gonna do is gonna jam the ax in off to the side like that. I'll pivot around, roll onto my stomach, and get under that same self-arrest position. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So you wind up in the same position. So all these techniques are great for, for stopping yourself on a steep slope. It's important to go practice these, because they're not intuitive and they're fairly simple, but you need to practice. It'll also give you a good idea of how long it takes to stop on, uh, on, a, on a different slope. This, you're moving so slow, it's really soft. But if it's hard, you better get over really quick because you got a short amount of time before you got way too much speed to stop. So there it is, self-arrest techniques. Go out and practice, have some fun.